I remember the first time I felt the G-forces. Good morning, Emmy girl. Whee! It's so funny when she comes down, she's like, Whoa! and then she gets happy. Whee! Justin got back from New Zealand a few days ago. Yes. And he had quite the stories to tell. When he did come back, he said that the chickens got huge. I see them every day and I'm constantly letting them out and checking on their feed and checking on their water and they're just four more girls that I have to take care of. But look how big they've gotten. Oh yeah, we got some Mondos now. They're no longer making like chick noises. They're making like full grown hen noises. Come here. They're just like outgrowing this thing. They're so big now. They've got the redness on their beak now. Yep. I also can't tell which one's the smallest one anymore. This one in the right corner is still making like the the kind of like the sounds, like the kind of the chick sounds. Come here. <laughs> this is our this is our sweet little hens. Look at them. So graceful, look, she's even pointing her leg out. Yep. Are you pointing your toes? Yes. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. They are voracious insect eaters, by the way. They just run around the yard like velociraptors and basically just eat all of our bugs. It's really awesome. And I think we're probably coming up like in a few weeks, they'll be laying eggs. Really? It's coming up, yeah. Take around 18 weeks, they can start laying eggs. So. Okay, I'll let you get, get back to your group. You know, during the day we'll let them out. I'll let them out for like an hour, maybe two hours while I go walk Emmy around the block. And every time that I come back, it's kind of like a game of hide and go seek the chickens. You never know where they're gonna be, but they always stay together. So if you find one, you, all, you find all four. And then they're always gonna be under some kind of cover. Sometimes they're under Justin's boat or truck. Yep. Sometimes they're under the stairs. If it's hot, I've noticed that they've like been taking little dirt baths and they'll just nestle in the dirt and try to get cool. So project for the hens now is to actually build them a bigger enclosure. Uh, when we first started letting them out, they were kind of roaming in certain places of the yard. They would stay there. They, they still kind of do, but they, they get a bigger radius every day and it's almost getting to where, where they're going to like cross the road. Yeah, they're I know that the road. I know that sounds like really corny and stupid, but uh, it's getting it's getting to that point. So I thought it'd be cool to like build a little fencing enclosure. We could just uh, open it up, let them out during the day, and not have to worry leave about them. them out. Yeah, and then put them up in the coop at night. So I like that happy idea. chickens, happy eggs. And as they're getting bigger, I feel like that helps me out whenever you're gone to not be worried about them. Like there have been times where I let them out and I'm like crap, I lost the chickens. <laughs> Or, you know, what if like something comes and eats them? So we have a ton of animals just roaming around the tree house. And while Justin was in New Zealand, there were a few things that were digging under the house, which has happened to me before, but I feel like this time is even worse. And the hogs have been back, we've got deer, we've got, I've seen fox in the middle of the day roaming around. So we've just got critters oh, we everywhere. Buck, we've got a buck, a little yeah. nubbin buck on the trail camp. So I put out some little, little sugar back. beets and a salt lick and he's coming in like every day. Well, there's something else lurking around that is quite nasty. Take a look at that. Yeah. So we know that we have foundation issues, but this thing that is crawling under our house is probably digging up tunnels and who knows what else. And we just, it needs to be annihilated. I'm, I'm the backyard soldier for you. Yes. You're like the general and I just go out and well, I try Well, I, I give you things. like the main report, like everything that happens during the day. Yep. And then I leave you to take care of it. I've got a big battle. I've got, I've got, I've got the hog to contend with. I've got critters digging under the house. We have raccoons. Uh, we have squirrels. I think it's because the feeder's up. He just needs to take the right feeder. Here. He just needs to take the feeder off. Ha da da. Ha da da. Ha da da. Y'all have fun over there. Let me show them what the hogs have been doing. Oh, by the way, our peach tree is completely leaned over. I think that we need to get some type of like support. Oh See, I was telling you last night. Oh my gosh, that's a Charlie Brown. Yeah, but the but the tree itself. That's what is, I'm uh, saying. It's the fruit. It's seriously the fruit. It's too heavy. Well, we need to get some support for it. Look at all that yummy, delicious fruit. Okay, well, I guess that means I'm gonna have to go to the farm store and uh, get some supplies. Yep. It's, time, it's time to do some homesteading here. Uh, 
I love you, Chick fil A. Okay, so before you left, you had a bet going. Did they have a Chick fil A in New Zealand? Oh man, I forgot. Whoa. Actually, a lot of the fishing freaks come and told me before I even left that uh, no, there was no Chick fil A's. I actually saw a few comments saying that there was one in Auckland. Oh, really? Um, I guess we need to clarify because we need to know who won that competition. Because there is, what was there, a couple hundred dollars on the line there? I don't remember. Probably it was something something like a freak ice cream cone from Chick-fil-A. I think that's what it was. Was that? Yeah, we were at Chick-fil-A at the time. I don't know. Actually, there was another comment that I feel like I need to address. I have, I have cone in my stash. <laughs> you have cone? I have cone in my stash. You have cream in your stash. People were asking if when you go out of the country, is it still a thing that OSG gets something for the house? Yes, that is still a thing. Oh yeah. I got two bookcases. I, I forgot about it, but I was quickly reminded. Mm -hmm. When you came home. I feel like it should be every week that you're gone, I get one thing. So you were gone for two weeks, I got two things. Two bookcases. You also got a mirror and I think a rug and a few other things. Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. It's called nesting. It's all about the nesting. Okay, so we're just getting back from Home Depot. Got some lumber. Lumber, lumber, lumber. We're always buying wood. Yeah. Do we need more wood? It's not like I don't have enough, but um, this is treated wood. It's going to be outside. Probably went a little overboard for a chicken enclosure, but I'm thinking we might as well just go all out and make it a garden at this point. Yeah. And, you know, and keep the deer out and the other animals as well. So. Hey, I'm all for it. All right, so we're about to drop Emmy off at Mimi's, and we're about to get to work. We're going to get to yeah, work. I just got to eat my comb. I have not adjusted to... Texas time and I had to get me some Chick-fil-A and get my get a cone in my system. I just came for winter. Like winter was coming, it came. And now straight to summer. It's different different side of the planet. Like it's a little rough. Mm. Emmy girl, are you ready to see Mimi? Oh, she's so tired. So since we have a ton of stuff to do, ow, there's something biting me. Since we have a ton of stuff to do outside, we are gonna let her sleep over at Mimi's so that we can just knock it out. Got LFD here, thank goodness, thank you sir. Paying off my debts. Yes, uh, we had a fishing competition the other day and uh, didn't go so well. Meant he would help me dig post holes, so. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, We've done a lot of projects, like a lot of home projects together. Uh, it's normally when we've had our like only real fights, I feel like. Like big bull, little bull. Oh yeah. Flashing. Because I want to do it my way. Yeah. You want to do it your way. Yeah. And it just, after the heat in Texas, sometimes it just comes out. But What's anyway. the reward? You get to jump in the pool later? You get a cold Coors Light and a dip in the pool. Sounds That's good. it. All right. <laughs> Let's dig these holes. Digging them holes. Digging these holes. Digging them holes. I see your psychology now. That's, that's good. I'll take it. So you're doing the deck as well? I am. So Holly, it's amazing what you can do without a daughter in your arms. I am free. I've never felt so light in my life. So this deck up here, I am resealing it because the stain has started to come off with all the rain that we've been having within like the past six months. Stain is coming off on our feet. So I want to get it to where it's enjoyable, nice. I mean, some patio furniture, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait till another trip. Gone. Yeah, yeah. When are you going to um, another trip? Um, might be a minute. Okay. Might be a minute. <laughs> you gotta feel this. Okay. Pick that up and give it the old heave ho. Oh, jeez. Don't Check. stab your toes off. <laughs> okay, toes are far away. <laughs> There's a rock right there, right? Yeah, that is a rock that we're trying to break through. Oh! Check out these arm muscles. <laughs> Could you do that all day? How, how heavy do you think this is? That thing is 30 pounds at least. Okay, well, Emmy's halfway there. I do half of this all day long. Those, uh, those arms look good. We, we got two holes? We only have two. 
We're only doing four today because That's fair I'm enough. not getting paid for this. Fair enough. Make sure he's getting his arms up high. I hope I'm getting some cookies made at some point in my future. <laughs> so like well, this isn't just for me. This is for you, too. I know. You're the one that bought the chickens. I just feel like I'm really earning a cookie right now. <laughs> the lady has been unleashed without Emmy. Give me a couple hours without Emmy. Wow, I have forgotten the amount of work you get done. Right? I'm telling you, I can do work. All right, so. The entire deck has been resealed. Sealed. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. It actually just makes it look darker. It makes it look like I put teak oil all over a deck. Y'all, I am going to enjoy getting in the pool for the first time this year. Holy moly. So here's where I am with the, uh, the new garden pen. I've got the poles in the holes. I actually need uh, I need to dig two more post holes, so I'm gonna go two more in the middle, so they'll have a little bit more support. Uh, and the dimensions are 25 feet by it's supposed to be 15, but they ended up being 14. And I gotta clear all that brush out as well. And then I'm gonna put one more post in right here, make a little gate, and she'll be good to go. And so now I gotta add the quick creep, stand these up, get them level let them dry and then i'll be able to uh get my right angle tool get some string and, and put in those other two and make it all nice and neat i'm excited about this little project right here this used to be a big uh play set like a multi-colored uh cra it was it was literally crayons it was like giant crayons it's pretty ugly you know our house is like all cedar wood and then it's all these oaks and cedars out here our chicken house is, is all cedar so figured it'd be pretty fitting even though this is pine we'll make a nice enclosure for the chickens and maybe make a little herb garden area and maybe there's a dog in there in the future or something like that or some billy goats I don't know but it's definitely gonna be a nice little place for the chickens and it's gonna look good I'm gonna feel good about it there's something about working hard in the summer and then enjoying a nice cold brewski maybe getting in the pool or going to the lake just screams lake life America gotta love it Hit that like button for hard work. Two holes done. Out of four. I'm gonna take a break right here. I am tired. I just feel a little, a little woozy, a little lightheaded. Old summer's getting me. But I, I've just gotta get in that pool. But we're gonna wrangle up the chickens for now, put them in there, and then go get in the pool. It's gonna feel delicious. Feel delicious? Can things feel delicious? Sure they can. Shatterbach. Who loves the water? This one. This one <gasps> thinks the water. You were just, you were my baby. You love the outdoors and you love the water. She is starting to love bath time. Emmy, you want to try to get in the water? Okay, so I got her one of these things. We're going to try it out. Got her a swim diaper. She's got a little bathing suit. Yeah. First time in the pool. <gasps> Yay, Yay. Emmy. Doing so good. Oh, first time. Whee! Gotta kick those legs. <laughs> wow, this is scary how much she likes this. Yeah. Just chilling. She's like, give me a cold one. Give me a cold one. She's like, cold milk. Yeah. yeah. Look at splash. We have been so much fun oh. in the water. So we've officially figured out that Emmy is a water baby. Which I don't know if it's a good, I mean, it's a good thing, but at the same time, it's a little scary. Yeah, we gotta make sure she is fully protected from the pool game. And you know how to swim. We gotta teach you how to swim pronto. Strong as a mother. Shirt available now. Shirt is available I now. I just noticed that. Go out to my shop page. Have a good life. Dot shop. Wow, bam. Look at that. Links will be down below, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to today. Perfect into the first day of summer going into the pool emmy getting her first experience in the water and just loving it i can You're tell we cute. are going to be over at mimi's house a lot this summer oh yeah we get to experience the greatness of a pool without having the maintenance cost that is great we also have a house that's leaning over but anyways <laughs> you win some you lose some we're gonna go enjoy some great steaks, y'all. Stay tuned, subscribe right here to the Lake Life Family channel, and we'll see you right back here on the next one.